here comes tragedy. Sean and Jill don't exactly belong to the same, you know, circle. What do you mean, circle? Hello? His family, where they live, what they do? I mean, yuck. Tay, come on. What does she know, right? Shouldn't have asked her out. You bet. I mean, if she's a snob like that. What was I thinking? Like I had a shot at a girl like that. She doesn't know what she's talking about. Yeah? Look at where I live. You live in a great place. Corey, I live in a trailer park. Corey's the type of guy that could turn into a boyfriend. And you're real cute and everything, Sean, but face it, with your reputation, you're just... What? You can tell me. You're not boyfriend material. <laughs> You don't understand women. You don't know what we are, you don't know how we feel, and you don't know what we think. You see us as dating objects, and the faster we are, the more you want us. And until you can grow up and see beyond that, no matter how many girls you go out with, you will always be lonely. Aww. Because the first thing I noticed were your legs. Yeah. Oh, what's the matter? You just don't listen. You're too busy planning your next move to hear us say no. What? You know, but I guess you're not. I guess you prefer girls. As a matter of fact, I do. <laughs> I said, as a matter of fact, <laughs> I do. What's that for? For every girl I've ever known. A mild-mannered youth until seventh grade, Sean realized he was nothing but trailer trash, so he blew up the entire school. <laughs> so why didn't you just throw it? There were people all around. I could have hurt somebody. So I, I just knew I had to get it far, far away, so I mailed it. You blew up a United States mailbox? Well, it's still standing. Although the sides did puff out like a fat guy burping. Why am I never around when the great stuff happens? I think I shook the cops. What do I do now, though? I can't go home. Why not? It wasn't like you did it on purpose. But I did it. That's the only part my old man's gonna hear. I stepped over the line this time, Corey. I'm gonna get killed for this. What are you gonna do? I know you really like Sean. I mean, he's been your best bud since he taught you how to pick the lock on your playpen. <laughs> but there is something I think you should know about him. You think he's a criminal? I think he has rough edges. I think he's at a point in his life where he can go one of two ways. Back on my side of the line, or gone forever, into cherry bomb land. He's happy out there because he's free. No one's rubbing his nose in a carpet and saying, don't do that. You know, he looks lonely to me. And cold. And he looks like he doesn't have a friend in the world. He's got one now. Whoa, 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 what are you doing? I don't know. I don't really know anything. I'm just cute and fun to watch. Forget it, I'm not going home. You don't want to help me, that's fine. I'll sneak out the back. Get out of my way, Corey, or... Or else what? You'll hit me? Fine, go ahead. Wipe the floor with me. Corey, just get out of my way. No. You have to go home, Sean. You can't run away. Yes, I can. Just get away from the door. Sean! I'm not moving. Corey, what do you want from me? I want you to come back on my side of the line. How am I supposed to do that? Just go home. Parents are gonna ground me for like a year. Well then, I'll see you in a year. Man, I'm gonna get so killed. Yeah, well, we're only 12. We live again. I'm going to buy the present tonight, so today is the last day you have to give me the money. I said I'll give it to you. If you don't give me $5 right now, I'm not going to put your name on the card, and the entire sixth grade of Jefferson Elementary is going to know you're a deadbeat. Fine, then I am, okay? Look delighted. <laughs> oh, come on. Why can't we all spend Thanksgiving together? Because it is unnatural to mix the classes, son. You're tampering with the primal force of nature here. <laughs> I've been getting together with the Matthews is a wonderful idea. Have you been drinking? I don't see anything wrong about having contact with a better class of people. Come on, Sean. Uh, listen, man, I've been thinking it's time we both just face the facts. 
fact. Corey, you and I are different, and sooner or later we're gonna end up in different places. Says who? Why don't we both just do us a favor right now and call it quits, okay? What has gotten into you? You just don't get it, do you? Get what? Look at your house, Corey. Look at where you live. Look at where I live. Look at your parents. Look at my parents. I know where I'm gonna end up. Just let me get there now. Sean! Just let me get there now! Class starting, door shutting. Matthew's hunter. This means get in. Look, I just think you're gonna have a problem if you hang out with guys like that. Yeah, well, they happen to be my kind of guys, okay? We're part of the same circle. Look, Sean! Corey! Let go. Hey, where's your friend going? I wish I knew. Why did you rip up my tape? It just happened, okay? Sean, I caught those guys on tape, stealing computers, all right? I, cu I could have won an award or something. Maybe I was doing you a favor. No, no. You know ow, what I ow, think, Sean? Ow, 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 I think ow, it bothers ow, you, but I finally found something I'm good at. I think you should shut up and let go of me right now. Son, why are you acting like I did something I mean? said let go of me. Fine. All right, let's see what you got, Hummer. No. No, no, Corey, you don't want to do this. Yeah, I do. Break it up! Get back to class hey, now! Class. Hunter and Matthews? Did you guys know you were fighting each other? Hey guys, what's up? Corey, come on, get out of here. Sean, that looks like a bat. Could that be Turner's bike? Yeah, you're right. Now, would you leave? Nah, this kind of looks like fun. Here, let me go first. Corey, let go. No, I'm gonna try You're not even supposed to be here. Yeah, well, neither are you. Would you just let me do this? Look, if you're gonna do this, Sean, then I'm gonna do <sighs> this it. This is not your place, okay? What are you saying, I don't belong here? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Look, if you belong here, then I belong here. Hey, baboon, look, look, we got some business here. All right, so I suggest that you walk away while your legs still bend only once. Listen, Kyler, this is between me and Sean, so take your greasy head and your rat face thug and get away from my friend. <laughs> Everything's great. Who are you kidding? I mean, what's with you, Hunter? Why you want to hang out with these lowlifes? Hey, maybe I'm a lowlife too, okay? Is that what you think? what everybody else thinks. I want to know what you think. They don't. I don't know anything. I don't even know who I am. Well, Sean, I know who you are. You're Sean Hunter. You were raised by wolves. You're my friend. It says so in your biography. I mean, what else do you need to know? I need to know what's going to happen to me, and you can't tell me that. Hey, Hunter, all Matthews can do is be your friend. And so far, he's been doing a real good job. All I can do is teach you whatever I can and hope that you leave my class a little better than when you came in. You mean drag the trailer park trash up the decent society? Hey, if you don't know that deep down inside you're all right, then I haven't taught you anything at all. You think I'm all right? I think you need to think you're all right. You think I'm all right? I think if you put your mind to it and get back inside that school and never Never go near this Harley, or that Harley. Yeah, I think you'll be all right. I guess this is the part where you wise up and move back to the trailer park. You know, we missed you. No, I'm real happy living where I am. Oh, yeah, out in the suburbs, with her fancy homes built into the ground. <laughs> hey, built in. You touch this guy again, and you've got me to deal with. What? You gonna take a swing at me? No. Then what are you gonna do? I'll call the cops. Let them figure it out. Police. You would do that to family? Yeah. Sean, what's he talking about? Hey, Cordy, stay out of this. Look. Eddie, I'm serious. I'll turn you in. Come on, man. I'm your brother. I'll do it if I have to. Like you're so much better than me. I'm on my way to be. Okay. Okay. Go pretend. Play hero. But you'll be back. This is who you are. Just get out of here. Have a seat on the couch, watch some free TV. Give me a minute to clean up the kitchen, and I'll, I'll drop you off. Okay. You know, Hunter, since you're going to be staying down the road, I mean, you know, Feel free to drop by. I mean, you know, we could eat, 
We could talk or not talk. We could just hang, you know? Uh, what's going on at home can't be easy on you. So, Sean, I mean, you know, anytime you just... No, the charges were dropped because they are juveniles and there was no prior arrest. Corey, this isn't you. No, of course it isn't. Somebody influenced him, didn't someone? Alan? No, Dad, okay? You're completely wrong. I, I, I did this completely on my own. Come on. You're covering up for Sean like you always do. No, I'm not. Okay, in, in fact, I'm the one who got him to drink. No, 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 no. Stop protecting me, Court. Yeah, you know how lousy he's been feeling. Well, he wanted to feel good, and I showed him how. Sean, wh what are you doing? I am sick and tired of overlooking the influence you have on my kid. But I'm the one who got us into trouble. I'm not in any trouble. You are. People expect this from me. I'm, I'm the screw-up. You're Mr. Teenage America, especially in the eyes of your parents. They've got you on this pedestal. I'm not going to let you fall off. Sean. Forget it. No. I was worried about my kid, and I said some things that I shouldn't have. It's okay. It is not okay. And I apologize. Are you kidding me? I'm sorry. Do you want one? You get kicked out of class. You fight me all the way home. You puke on my shoes. And you still oh, want another beer? Stop. Why don't you go home? <laughs> we got drunk at a party the other night. I think you might have liked it a little too much. Yeah, well, beer's a big deal for us. Oh, goody. Goody, now I get the lecture from the big brother who I've known all of six months. You don't have a clue, do you? About what? About Dad. Yeah. yeah Dad used to drink, and then he stopped. Next. You know why he stopped drinking? Because he ran out of money. <laughs> you know why my mom left him? Because she went for a guy with more money. <laughs> she left him because he was an abusive, ugly drunk. Don't you ever talk about my son? Son, stop. He's my father too, man. Alcoholism is in our family and you shouldn't drink. <laughs> Nobody's listening to me, okay? I, I drink this stuff because I like it. It makes me feel good. Hello? Hello? Is this thing on? <laughs> I have no problem. OK, maybe we don't have to talk about this in front of everybody. Let's just go out into the hall. Go. Uh, I don't like that you drink. Call me when you don't. The only thing of value for me, Mr. Hunter, would be to know that you're all right. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm all right. My brother and I um, <clears throat> decided to talk to this guy who's going to help us understand how to deal with this. Good for you, Sean. That's the right thing to do. You know, this is just a nice family restaurant in a quiet neighborhood. Nothing's going on here. <laughs> It was a car backfiring. Yeah, yeah, it looks like it was. Then why are we on the ground? Because well, it's fun and we do everything together. Sean, he was exaggerating. Yeah, well, it rang pretty true to me. So this is it. This is the road you're taking. <laughs> this isn't a road, this is a box. And as long as I don't open this box, I don't know what's in it. There's a teddy bear in this box. Oh, a teddy? Okay, okay, so come over to my house. We'll put the teddy under the tree, and at the end of the night, we'll play a little game called Let's Guess the Street Value of the Teddy. Yeah, well, maybe this is my street. You know, maybe no matter what I do, this is where I end up, like that poem says. No. No, see, the poem says you have choices in your life, and every choice you make means something. I mean, Sean, we're only 16 years old, and we got fooled by a couple of guys who look like our uncles. I mean, do you see how easy it is to end up on the wrong road? Yeah, and I knew all about them, too. I didn't walk away. You see, I, I figured I'd just get them some coffee, make some money, and, and get out before it got to this. And why are you here? I, I don't know. You know, I guess I, I thought I was one of those street smart guys. Now, 
I'm, I'm a little scared. You know, Sean, I didn't see this coming at all. I mean, I thought the devil was supposed to be some guy with horns and a big tail. <laughs> It'd be funny if there really was a teddy bear in there. Yeah. Don't you wish life was like that? I'm beginning to see. But it's not. Your mother, she took off. Oh, just go home and wait. She always comes back. Oh, not that easy. This time she took the house. <laughs> See, that's the problem with having a mobile home. It's, uh, uh, you can move it. OK, I get your point. No, I don't think you do. Fine, then I'll just get out of your way. I thought you were cooler than that. No, no, I'm not cool at all. In fact, I get real old fashioned when I see somebody that I care about being brought home by cops. Mr. Turner, do you have to yell? I've had a really rotten night. If you're not coming back right now, then you be the one to tell your son. Well, I just did. Huh? Well, if I know my boy, even money, when adults are talking about him, he's uh, probably somewhere behind them listening. Hi there, big guy. None of you want me. Well, that's fine. I don't need any of you. I never needed anybody. Sean, it's not that Sean. we don't want you. Look, I needed a little privacy, okay? I got my own life, you know? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know I was cramping your style by it, living here. This is my place. I don't have to defend myself. Yeah. Yeah, your place. That says it all. Sean! Every time one of us messes up doesn't mean somebody's got to take off. We got to talk these things out. Okay? Get back here. You're not going anywhere. I'm going to Europe. No, you're going to Texas. <laughs> Oh, come on, you're 15 years old, you got no money, and you have no idea what you're getting yourself into. You think there's a chance that I'm right? I don't know. You're coming home with me where you belong. And I mean, he's only a pig. Yeah, it's only a pig to you, to Panga, and whoever abandoned him at the trailer park. How do you know he was abandoned? The trailer park manager told me his owners just drove off and left him. He's all alone, man. No home, no family, nothing. Poor guy. Yeah, I know what he's going through. I've been there. Don't you see? Then why'd you take your sweet time to file for guardianship? Is that what this is about? It's what everything's about, John. It's my life. I mean, you've got your life. My dad's got his life. I, I just feel like I've got nothing. Sean, if you'd have wanted to see your dad, I could have taken you. It's, it's more than that, John. I'm, I'm just tired of feeling like a guest wherever I go. Yeah, I know, I know. Look, Sean, this hasn't been the easiest year for me either. Yeah, well, you've had the guardianship papers for months and you still haven't filled them out yet. I don't know, maybe... Maybe we're both afraid to make this living arrangement permanent. Yeah. Maybe we are. I made a decision that the best thing for you was to stay in school. Besides, I, uh... I call on the telephone every couple of weeks to... Check up on you, make sure you're all right. Yeah, every 23 days, like clockwork. Hey, I was out of state. Maybe Candace Burger can make all them long-distance phone calls, but I can't. Oh, look, Sean, I'm sorry I didn't call you more. Or write you letters. I lost my mom. I don't think I deserve to lose my dad, too. Sean, I was trying to put the family back together again. Mom was gone. You and I could have been together. We could have been a family. But you didn't want that. Why didn't you want that, Dad? I think the biggest crisis facing this country is the breakdown of the American family. Oh, you always got to go after Sean. <laughs> well, I just think that lots of other issues, like crime and the decline in education. Hey, hey, lay off me. <laughs> I'll have to do with how we're brought up in our homes. Well, now, I agree with you, Miss Lawrence. That's it. <laughs> Mr. Hunter. Oh, that's it. Um, listen, Sean, just what exactly is this center of which you speak? It's not a cult. Uh-huh. Don't judge us, Corey. Sean, you're talking crazy. I mean, you were there for what, an hour? The length of a journey has nothing to do with its ultimate value, Sean. That's nice. Corey, Sean, listen. Throughout our entire friendship, we've talked about everything, right? I mean, we've talked about girls, we've talked about movies, we've talked about music, but we've never talked about what you believe in. Sean, before you met these people at this place, what did you believe in? 
I don't know, nothing. Did you believe in God? George, what is it? Hey, Jonathan Turney. He's been in a motorcycle accident. Oh, no. Is he okay? Uh, no, he isn't. Alan, would you give me a lift down to the hospital? We'll all go. Come on, Tom. I'll meet you guys there. What do you mean? I'll meet you guys there. Okay, and second of all, I am beginning to see that you are more alone than I ever knew. What does that mean? Hey, Mr. Mac. No, he can't help you with this. Sean, what is the matter with you? I, I, don't, I don't know, but I can't look at him like this. Corey, come on, let me go. No. Corey, let me go. Sean, this is a hug, okay? This is a hug. And this is when you hug somebody, when you care about them, and then you want them to know that. Now, you cannot leave here, do you hear me? Turner took care of you, he loves you, and you love him. Is that real? Or are Mr. Mack and the center real? You decide, but you cannot go. We can go. But you didn't teach me enough. You and Corey and my parents and the Matthews and the handful of people who really care about me. So don't blow me off, John. Don't blow me off, God. I've never asked you for anything, and I never wanted to come to you like this. But don't take Turner away from me. He's not done yelling at me yet. God, you're not talking, but I know you're here. So I'm gonna talk. And you can listen. God. inside anymore. Well, day 53 of the wreckage. <laughs> there it is. Jack is here to try and rescue me from trailer life. No, that's not why I'm here. Ever since you were born, I... I always wanted to give you something I never could until now. A chance at a better life. Take it. He means nothing to me. He's your brother. He's a good boy. I, I think you ought to move in with him. Maybe some of that... Pinbrook stuff will rub off on you, and I'll have two boys in college. Dad, why are you trying to kick me out? I'm, I might not be much of a father, but I know this is right. So, get out of here. Scoot. Go on. I'm not going anywhere. And you're right about one thing. You're not much of a father. I was seven when my dad first told me that I had a brother. You know, I always wanted a brother. I wondered what he looked like, if he'd like me, if he even knew about me. When I was 10, I finally got the courage to write Jack a letter telling him all about me. I didn't get an answer. But I kept writing to him because he was my brother. And I must have sent him like 15 letters and I never got a single thing back. So I knew that he didn't want to have anything to do with me. And he still doesn't. I never got any letters. I ever wanted was a brother. Okay. Got one. Are you refusing to come to class? No. I am not refusing. I am exercising my free will. Then I will exercise mine. You are hereby suspended. End of discussion. Hey, don't ever talk to me about love or destiny again. What happened? I went there, okay? I put my heart in the line. She's got a boyfriend, Corey. And do you know what I feel now? Pain. 
It's like my heart's been ripped out and stepped on. So just do me a favor and stay out of my personal life, okay? Sean, I'm sorry. I mean it. I will. I mean it. It's a tape. Sounds of the trailer park. <laughs> it helps me sleep. It's actually kind of soothing. All the other kids grew up in real houses with real backyards. I grew up in a trailer park. Eskimo. There's just so many things standing in my way. Well, I'm going to the Super Bowl. Sean, you don't have any tickets. I don't care. You have no way of getting there. It doesn't matter. Corey, people like me, we don't go anywhere because we don't believe that we can get there. I'm my own worst Eskimo. Sean, listen to me. I'm trying to help you here. You don't have to go anywhere. Yes, I do. I do have to go somewhere, because if I don't, I'll never go anywhere. Now be my best friend and get out of my way. I want to hear that you were wrong, that I asked you to back off and you wouldn't take no for an answer, that you totally disregarded my feelings. You went way too far right. this time, Corey. All right, I did that. OK, but I just oh, want to oh, say. Oh, there better. There better not be a but. I did this for your own good. You have no idea what my poetry is about, do you? That poem that Feeney read in class, do you even know what that was about? Nothing. I opened my heart to you. I just can't sit around like a fool waiting for you to be ready. Angela. Done. It's over, Sean. <laughs> Talk to him. Hey, hey, what's the matter, buddy? I'm a little blue. It doesn't show, does it? No, no, you are the life of the party, friend. Everybody is thrilled to be with you. Say what you will, but they're coming. Over my big dead body. So, when you leaving? You know, that shows you how much you know. I just got offered the best job I ever had dealing blackjack in Vegas. But you didn't hear me say I was going to take it, did you? I didn't hear you turn it down. Well, I'm going to turn it down. I'm just keeping my options open. That is so like you. You always do this over and over and over again. You come into town, you make all these promises, and just when I think we're actually going to get close, you take off again. Oh, my God. I'm you. What are you talking about? I'm talking about the fact that I, I can't keep a relationship. I drive all my friends away. I hurt everybody I care about. Hey, Sean, come on, take it easy, huh? No, no this doesn't concern you. Yeah, he's my father, too, OK? I'm, I'm going to have some cake. <laughs> OK, OK. All right, I, I'll call Tommy. I'll tell him I'm not taking the damn job. You happy? No! Oh! Dad? Oh! What's, what's that? No. What, what's going on? He's in there with a heart attack, and you're out here complaining about forms? They weren't going to treat him until somebody filled out the paperwork? He's really been out of it since the ambulance ride. Yeah, well, maybe you're not going through what I am. I don't want to talk about this right now, okay? Let's just go see our father. You okay? He's lying in there. He's sick. I should be putting my arms around him and telling him that I love him. But I can't, Corey, because I am still so angry at him. You know, Johnny, all these years, he's been sort of blowing in and out of your life. But now you got him right in there, and he isn't going anywhere. Maybe I'm not the one you should be talking to. Don't 
Don't tell me how I'm feeling, okay? I'm his son, too. Are you? When you were a little kid, did you sit next to him while he watched TV all night long, hoping that he'd say something to you? Did you ever once clean up after him when he came home drunk? And when he didn't come home at all, did you lay in bed thinking it was something you did that drove him away? And when he was gone, did you walk around and make believe that everything was okay when inside it was tearing you apart? Did you? No. No, I, I didn't get to do any of those things. You see, I knew I had a father, and he was gone from me my whole life. But you turned out okay, Jack. Look at you, you know who you are. You deal with things. Me, I'm, I'm just another version of him. Sean. Oh, God, Dad, you're up. I'm sorry I didn't do right by you, son. I'm listening now. I'm real screwed up. <laughs> I come watching myself do these things that I hate. And I can't stop them. <laughs> Why couldn't you just stick around? Wasn't I good enough for you? No, Sean. I wasn't good enough for you. I need you, Dad. I need you too, son. <laughs> and this time, boys, I'm staying. I'm not going anywhere. Not this time. You mean it? Because I feel like... I feel like you're the only one who can help me. We lost him. His heart wasn't strong enough. I'm sorry, boys. Now, give me the keys. No. Give me the keys. You are spending the night in the trailer. No, give me the keys. I am turning this trailer around and taking you home. No. You just wait until Feeney hears about this one. Corey, I need your help, okay? Tell me everything's okay. Tell me I'm making the right decision. Okay, fine. You are my help. Come here. Go home. Finish college and work on your people skills. We're going to save you. I've been out of town. See, I was in a real bad way, and I went looking to see what was important in my life. I met a lot of people out of town who were looking for the same thing. Now you're in a real bad way. And I came back here because I want to tell you something. Don't go out of town. Don't go anywhere. Life is right here with these people. With your family. And my family. We got the greatest family there is, Josh. We want you to be with us so we can watch you grow and see you change and make great memories together. You must have felt so small. I did. I totally did. I felt like a speck who was here for one moment in time and then gone. And I decided that while I'm here, I want to be with my friends and the people I love. Because when I'm with you guys, I don't feel that small. I don't care if you impress my father. I don't care if he ends up liking you. It doesn't change how I feel. I know how you feel, Angela. He says that you love him. Well, I don't. What? I don't love you. He has to care that we're not gonna be ah! friends anymore! Why do you keep saying that, huh? Why do you have to keep bringing that because up? Because you won't talk about it! I don't want to talk about it! Why do you think I've been sending you everywhere? We have to talk about it! I don't want to! <laughs> we have to! Um, it says my mom is somewhere in Honduras. Oh no, he opened it. And she's never coming back. That's nothing new. She heard that dad died, and now I have the right to know something. Sean, put the letter back in the envelope. Wait a minute, maybe it's good news. Trust me, it's not. 
John. She's not my real mother. I want to have a talk with you now. <laughs> not my dad. Yeah, well, I'm all you have, Wait, right? What? You're not my dad. Okay, I don't have a dad. And I don't have a mom. I'm an orphan. I'm an old orphan. My childhood is over, and I never had any parents. Oh, <laughs> stop whining. I, 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 I hate you. I'll be your father. <laughs> You'll be what? I want you to be a member of this family. Hey, you having a good time in there with all your secrets? Like the fact that you've been married 62 times and never bothered to tell me who my real mother was? What possible reason could a father have not to tell his boy who his mom is? Maybe the father was trying to protect the boy. Why didn't you tell me who my mom was? Your mother's Berna. No, the woman who gave birth to me. Oh, her. Ah, she took off. <laughs> when you were born, I said, honey, it's a... Uh... Honey? <laughs> hey, but don't blame her, son. She wasn't really the mother type. She was more, how can I put this delicately, uh, a stripper. Truth is, you had a lousy mother, a lousy father. You come from a long line of lousy, boy. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you got dealt to bad hands, son. I'm sorry about it. Oh, come on, you're my father. I'm dead. Look. Take it from your dead dad. Become a Matthews. Put it to bed. You know, I always thought you were the black sheep of the family. I was. No, you weren't. You stayed. You raised me. I came and went. I tried. You, you did a good job with me, Dad. People like me. I even have friends. I even have someone who loves me. Hold on to her. I will. Just like I'm holding on to you. I hear you now. Thank you for being my father. You love me, huh? Ain't that a kick? Well, maybe I can finally get a little sleep. And I could never leave you. And I could never leave you. <laughs> Unless you said I could go. What? When will I ever get a chance like this to be with my father? Thank you for letting me be selfish. No, 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 not you, me. Look, there's something I gotta ask you right now. You know, because you're the only person that knows how important it is for me and my dad to spend this time together. I only wish you and your dad had this time together. I'm so sorry you didn't. Goodbye, Angela. Of the truly great lives lived, I suppose Sean Hunter would be the obvious choice, falling somewhere between Gandhi and Soupy Sales. Oh, this show stinks. <laughs>